everyone, my name is Jennifer and today I'm going to tell you all about what it's like to live in San Antonio, Texas. But more specifically, we're gonna talk about the differences between Orange County, California and Los Angeles, California versus San Antonio, Texas because they are very different. I mean, I knew they would be different, that's why I moved. But there's a lot of things that I'm kind of like, hmm, I'm just like processing now. I have been living here in San Antonio, Texas for two months and there's a lot to tell. Beginning with my journey, like moving out of Orange County, I feel like I'm gonna have to make a whole like single video about that because it was a mess. Just like the road trip, everything, it was like kind of like a nightmare, like everything bad that could have happened, that could have went bad, went bad but I finally made it and I'm here and I'm liking it even though it is very different. So let's get into it. Oh, and if you are interested in knowing how the hell did I find a home in San Antonio, I'm gonna talk about that at the end of the video. I'll tell you all about that process. So first of all, the main reason that I moved from California to Texas is the cost of living you know housing back in california even though i had a semi-decent um salary salary not salary i also had a decent salary but i'm talking about my salary i couldn't afford living in a nice place i had to rent a room i couldn't even like afford an apartment like that you have to make a lot of money to afford an apartment which apartments over there like the cheapest you can find might be like 1900 per month and that's like a really shitty looking apartment one bedroom um or more more like a studio and here i'm able to live in a house with a backyard and you know it's great i have uh, air conditioning air conditioner because I did not have AC back there so it is much better in terms of every day I wake up I am comfortable I have space and yeah it's that's great however the weather here in San Antonio Texas is obviously worse than California in California sometimes it gets hot but like not too hot so when I moved here it was at the end of July or middle of July so basically July and August were extremely extremely hot like I have a dog he's right here his name is Dexter and I could only walk him if I woke up like very early in the morning before 8 a.m. I had to walk him because by 8 30 a.m. it was already too hot to be outside and then for his second walk I have to walk him until like after 7 30 uh, there's still some sun outside but it's you know cooler a little bit cooler so yeah July and August I'm very restricted in how much I can go outside and you actually don't see people outside in California you see the neighbors watering their lawn or just like taking a little stroll during the day you don't see that in California I mean in Texas uh, people stay indoors in the comfort of their AC but now it's September and the weather has improved a few degrees so I don't have to wake up as early or take my dog out on his second walk uh, so late in the evening it's better September is uh, turning better uh, obviously there's more rain here there's more storms but not too bad it's not like hurricanes or any, anything like that all right so something else that I want to mention is the highways in San Antonio the highways are a little bit crazy they're not they're not bad or anything it's just like San Antonio is a big circle so the highway is a big circle right so when you're driving on the highway it's just basically you're curving there's curves all along um, and there's a big difference between California drivers and San Antonio drivers California drivers are aggressive but I would still consider them good drivers they're, they're, they're aggressive because you know there's a lot of traffic but they still drive good San Antonio drivers they're bad drivers you get a mixed bag some of them drive too slow some of them like turn on their blinkers very late like they just they just like they just drive bad i mean i'm not seeing like a bunch of accidents 
everywhere but uh, compared to California I feel like they're bad drivers or maybe I'm just used to like driving very fast in California so I feel like everybody is like kind of slow or like cutting in front of you at the very last second I don't know it feels it feels just like there's a difference but on the upside uh, everything's very close here in San Antonio like I said San Antonio is one big circle so at the most you're gonna have to drive 30 minutes to get somewhere like that would be the most like I feel like if you wanted to go on a big loop around San Antonio you would you would go around San Antonio in like 40 minutes because uh, this, the, the highway is pretty intuitive and you would start at one point and you end up on the other um, end of San Antonio, the circle. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Now, the rumors are true. Everything is bigger in Texas. The food is bigger, like anywhere you go, they give you like a giant size cup of drink even if they call it a regular that does not happen in california some places might give you like a large drink but most places they give you like a regular size cup like here most most places in, in san antonio they give you this like giant ass cup and they call that a regular and i feel like texas portions are one of the big reasons why there's bigger people in texas i've noticed a lot of overweight people in texas compared to california now another thing is that even the stores are, here are gigantic like you go to a grocery store and it's the size of two costcos out there in california here everything every grocery store is so big you get lost once you're and if you go on the weekend it's like oh my god kill me because everybody's in there at the grocery store uh so avoid on the weekends if you can now socializing meeting people how do i meet people now that i move here like i i move here knowing nobody and well what i used to do in california was go to meetups right by using meetup.com and you go attend events with people who have similar interests like if you like uh, going to bars you might go to a bar crawl or if you like hiking you might go to a hiking event you know things like that so I, I tried I'm, I'm trying meet up here in Texas but it, there is a difference just in like because it's more limited like in, Ca in California the weather is nice so you can do a lot of many more things here the weather is a little bit worse right because it's hot so mostly people do things indoors uh, I've, I've seen a few like outdoor things but mostly they just do like late night bar things or uh, game nights indoors or house parties but there's not a lot of outdoor uh, group activities um, there are a few but not a lot another thing another thing that's different is just like the demographics in california specifically in orange county it's very diverse like when i used to go to those meetups it's very evenly divided among uh, ethnicities like you see people from all over the world that just happen to live in Orange County here there is less diversity there's still diversity you still see um, people of different ethnicities but it, it, it's it, I feel like they're like less than half where in California it's like half or more of the people attending the groups are diverse so that's just one thing that's different I personally enjoy meetups when there's when I get to meet people of uh, a lot of different backgrounds so uh, so that's just one thing that is kind of like uh, disappointed I, th I thought it would be more diverse over here but I mean it's still diverse so it's still fine another thing is that I haven't had great Mexican food even though you know San Antonio has a lot of Hispanic people but yeah I still haven't found like a great great Mexican food place so we'll see I mean I've only been here for two months so I need to keep searching uh, there's a few places like Taco Cabana, Taco Palenque those are like chains and they're not that great uh, so I, I guess I, I need to look at like more authentic places 
see if I can find any. Although there are a lot of places that sell tamales, which I really like. Those, those tamales here are pretty good. Okay, so before I close the video, I wanted to tell you about how I found my home here in San Antonio because how do you find a home while you're still living somewhere else? So here's how I did it. It was kind of an ordeal. Basically, I booked a four day trip uh, and I flew from California to San Antonio about a month before I wanted to move in. So. I came here around mid-June because I wanted to move around I wanted to move to San Antonio around mid-July so in mid-June I came here for four days and I stayed at an Airbnb and all I did for four days was go look at places go look at homes go go look at apartments and see you know get familiar with the areas I would look I would just go look at a, a home that I saw on Craigslist or on Facebook marketplace or on Zillow and I would go see it um, take a tour uh, and uh, there were a lot of homes that were nice inside but then I didn't like the backyard or I liked the neighborhood but I didn't like the inside so that's why you need to look out a bunch of houses and you know the market it, there is high demand for housing so you kind of have to try to look at homes that are that have just been put out because if you're trying to look at a home that has been listed for 10 days you're likely not gonna get it because there's people who have already applied so you need to look at homes that have only been listed for le like less than three days and go see them as soon as possible and if you like them apply like the same day don't wait so that's what i did i i think i saw like 10 homes in in four days and I liked three of them. I applied to two, but I wasn't hearing back because you know it takes at least three days for them to process it. So I then applied for a third one, which is this one. And turns out I, I got approved for all of them. <laughs> so I was like, well, that's good. But I, I ended up deciding on this one and it's been great. It's like I said, even though it's hot and I don't know anybody in the city, it's still really good to have more space to have air conditioning <laughs> you I am more productive so you know just being comfortable it's a very valuable and hopefully now that I'm here with more space with more comfortable I can make more videos and sketches and whatnot even though I'm like working a lot and I don't have that much time but I'm gonna try anyways that was it for this video I hope you enjoyed and that if you are considering living in San Antonio or moving from California to here you know just really think about it can you handle the weather anyways that was it thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one